Musica is proudly presented by Rolex. The Greek violin virtuoso Leonidas Kavakos has been playing on various Stradivaris for quite some time. But it was an encounter with the Villemot Stradivarius 24 years ago that left a deep impression on him. It wasn't for sale back then, but last year he discovered that the violin built in 1734 was finally available. The violins are like human beings. When the ones that you're interested in, you don't forget their faces. Leonidas Kavakos is passionate about the art of violin making. This was made in rather late in his life. And um, uh, first of all, one has to say that it's amazing that a man of such age, he lived 93 years and until the very last moment he was building instruments. That is quite a, a, quite a miracle. He was, I think, probably the only or maybe one of the very few valley makers who at their time were so famous. Stradivari was already making instruments for Medici. He had enormous commissions from the very important noble families of the time. After he reached a certain age, he brought his sons in to help him. Uh, yet what is remarkable is that every now and then shows up a certain instrument that you can see no interference of the sons. And uh, yeah, this is, this is one of them. He's experiencing, experimenting the whole time with the model he's looking for, for something he's changing. He's never, you know, even though he was so successful, he was never, you know, creating the same, so to say, um, idea. He was still changing all the time. It was amazing. We can all learn from that. These instruments were built when, you know, before Mozart's time. So orchestra and the whole concert procedure was totally different. Um, and they are still, you know, the same boxes and they, they have certain changes, of course, minor though, who allow us to play without help of microphones in the halls and against big orchestras. And it's amazing because it's like with human beings. It's this kind of, this kind of uh, um, chemistry or this kind of uh, interaction or uh, energy, you know, that, that, that floats between the two sides and then that creates a certain kind of special um, atmosphere. And that is exactly what a great instrument is about. presented by Rolex.